Exactly. You know, that's, that's what it is. You can, you, you can do that. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Kibra, and I am an R&B artist based out of Toronto. And you are watching my session with Off the Record. What's Nile about? Nile is honestly, like when I heard the beat, I was just like, this just feels like a very, very like passion filled type of vibe. And I'm like, what are, what are, what are moments that make me feel this way? And I like, I, I just kind of, I just kind of tapped into for whatever reason, like at the club, you know, when you see someone, you're, you're kind of giving eyes to and you're like, oh, what is this like you know what i mean <laughs> so that's kind of the that's kind of the vibe like i guess um the most obvious vibe of, of of what the song is about but the underlying meaning is really about trusting yourself um enough to just take a risk um whether that be in your career whether that be in your love life um and just understanding that like you can't control everything and sometimes you just got to trust the vibes how does your Eritrean background influence your music? For a really long time, I was looking for how I can blatantly represent my culture in my music. And it was really difficult to do until one of my most recent records, Live Your Life. It was very influenced by the instrumentation. I feel like I've been missing this fact that like, it doesn't have to always be like this direct, obvious way of showing up for your culture. Um, I think just by years of listening to the music, it's definitely influenced my sound. I think it's influenced the way I sing. It's influenced my melodic structure. Um, if you listen to Eritrean music, um, a lot of the women sing in very high pitched, um, at high pitched levels. Um, I'm a soprano. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but uh, yeah, like I think just by um, being in the culture my entire life, obviously, um, and just allowing it to like subconsciously influence how I create music is, um, I think, the most organic way it shows up. Which artist do you look up to and why? Um, there's definitely a few. Um, right now, I think I would say Nina Simone. Um, I, I mean, other than just being a phenomenal artist, um, I really appreciate and feel like she demonstrated what it meant to, um, to be empowered, to um, have a platform and say something meaningful, to be a voice for the masses, um, in a way that isn't silencing, in a way that isn't, um, like I feel like she did it very gracefully. Um, and it's something that I would love to be able to do with my platform um, now and moving forward. What's the first concert you ever went to? Summer Rush at Wonderland. <laughs> Yes, and it was Justin Bieber and Pitbull. I had the time of my life. Oh my God. And granted, I went there just because all my friends were fans of Justin Bieber's. And at the time, I was like, who's the little, who's the little boy? I don't care about him. But I'm not gonna lie, he really did his thing on that stage with the one time, oh my God, one time. Oh my God, I was catching my whole life. I didn't even know I knew the lyrics, but it was a great show. It was a great show. That was my first concert. How has the time you've spent in Ghana inspired you as an artist? Oh, so many ways. Um, I would say uh, being there, I felt um, so immersed in um, Ghanaian and African culture and was able to um, work with so many, like, so many talented people uh, from videographers to producers to other artists and um, I feel like it really gave me um, an authentic perspective. Um, I feel like I, I have I, I definitely feel a sense of community just be, by being an African and there's there's that sense of unity just by that but as someone who is in Genyan I felt a responsibility to go into um, the country and create 
in a way that um, is respectful and always honoring the people and, always, and also true to myself. And I feel like um, by being there and by just living day to day in like sun, <laughs> you know, trust me, there were, there were tough times as well, but um, I feel like it really allowed me to like think um, in a way that I couldn't think here. I felt, especially during the pandemic, it was really difficult to get inspired, you know? But by being there, um, I felt so lucky that I could be outside and just interact with people and um, learn about the culture um, and just, you know, have the experiences to allow me to better inform and influence my music. What's next for Kibra? Album, baby. Album. I got an album on its way very soon. Um, it's titled Soul Butter, and I'm so excited for it. It's definitely a um, compilation of uh, music that explores the, the various subgenres within soul music. I think it's definitely some of my best work. I'm really proud of it. Um, I'm really, I'm really humbled to be able to put out this project with as much support that I've been able to receive with my friends that have listened to these songs like countless of times, so indebted to them. And I just, I'm so um, happy that I'm able to finally deliver it. Once again, my name is Kibra. Thank you so much for watching my session with Off The Record. You can find me on any streaming platform. You can just search up my name. And uh, on Instagram, I'm Kibra Music, K-I-B-R-A, music spelled normally. Bye.